Don't you want to go back home to your own mothers? You were so kind to my husband and sons, and you've always been kind to me. I pray that the Lord will just be as kind to you. May he give each of you another husband and a home of your own. Oh, mother, I want to go live with you among your people. Oh, mother, please. Oh, mother. Oh, mother. I want to go with you to Bethlehem. My daughters, why don't you return home? What good will it do to you to go with me to Bethlehem? Do you think that I could have more sons for you to marry? You must go back home because I am too old to marry again. Even if I got married tonight and later had more sons, would you wait for them to become old enough to marry? No, my daughters. Life is harder for me than it is for you because the Lord has turned against me. If you insist, mother, I'll go pack my bags. I'll be on the next donkey to my hometown. Look, Ruth, your sister-in-law is going back to her people and to her gods. Why don't you go with her? Please, mother, don't tell me to leave you and return home. I will go where you go. I will live where you live. Your people will be my people, your God will be my God. Naomi, is that really you? Naomi, I'm so glad to see you, Naomi. Welcome back, Naomi. Don't call me Naomi any longer. Call me Mara, because God has made my life bitter. I had everything when I left. But the Lord has brought me back with nothing. How can you still call me Naomi when God has turned against me and made my life so hard? Mother, let me go see if I can find someone who will let me pick up grain left in the field by the harvest workers. Go ahead, my daughter. May the God of heaven grant you favor. that young woman master she is the one who came back from Moab with Naomi she asked me if she could pick up grain left by the harvest workers and she has been working all morning without a moment's rest what a hard-working young lady young lady I think it will be best for you not to pick up grain in anyone else's field Stay here with the women and follow along behind them. As they gather up what the men have cut, I have warned the men not to bother you. And whenever you are thirsty, you can drink from the water jars they have filled. Sir, you know I come from another country. Why are you being so nice to me? I have heard how you have helped your mother-in-law ever since your husband died. You even left your own father and mother to come and live in a foreign land among people you don't even know. I pray that the Lord God of Israel will reward you for what you have done. And now that you have come to him for protection, I pray that he will bless you. Sir, it's so good of you to speak so kindly to me and make me feel very welcome. I'm not even one of your servants. Come, eat with us, have some bread, and dip it in with the sauce. My daughter, where did you work today? Whose field was it? May God bless the man who treated you so well. Oh, mother, you won't believe it. I worked on the field of a man called Boaz. He was so nice and so rich. The Lord bless Boaz. He has shown that he is still loyal to the living and to the dead. 
Boaz is a close relative, one of those who is supposed to look after us. Mother! Boaz even said I could stay in the field with his workers until they had finished gathering all his grain. Oh my God, he's so nice, he's so handsome. Oh, my daughter. It is good that you can pick up grain alongside the women who work in his field. Who knows what might happen to you in somebody else's field. My daughter, it's high time I found you a husband who will give you a home and take care of you. You have been picking up grain alongside the women who work for Boa and you know he's a relative of ours. Tonight, he will be threshing the grain. Now take a bath and put on some perfume, then dress in your best clothes. Go where he is working, but don't let him see you until he has finished eating and drinking. Watch where he goes to spend the night. Then when he is asleep, lift up the covers and lie down at his feet. He will tell you what to do. I'll do whatever you say, mother. Who are you? Sir, I am Ruth, and you are the relative who is supposed to take care of me. So spread the edge of your covers over me. The Lord bless you. This shows how truly loyal you are to your family. You could have looked for a younger man, either rich or poor. But you did. Don't worry. I'll do what you have asked. You are respected by everyone in town. It's true that I am one of the relatives who is supposed to take care of you. But there is someone who is even closer relative. Stay here until morning. Then I will find out if he is willing to look after you. If he isn't, I promise by the living God to do it myself. Now go back to sleep until morning. So how did it go? I want the full scoop. Mother, I did everything you told me to do. And as I was leaving, he gave me all this extra food to bring to you. My daughter, just be patient. Don't worry about what will happen. He won't rest until everything is done.